Are you interested in earning your own income, supporting your ongoing sustainability, building your financial resilience, and growing your impact and reach? If the answer is yes, then could social investment work for you? Against a background of decreasing resources and ever-increasing demand, social enterprises, charities and the voluntary community sector increasingly need to consider their resilience and sustainability, income generation and revenue models, and the funding and finance required to support their organisation. If this is part of your current thinking, then you need to have enough information to understand if repayable finance could be a tool to help you deliver the impact you want to create. So to start, what is social investment? You can watch the animation on our website or YouTube channel, Good Finance. Social investment sits alongside donations and grants as another tool that charities and social enterprises can use to help buy an asset, maintain cash flow, kickstart business or to grow. It's just another tool in your toolkit, which may be used alongside trading, donations, bank finance, contracts, payment by results, or other sources of finance and funding. Social investment exists to support and create impact by helping to build innovation, growth, and sustainability. If you're new to social investment, or it's something you could be interested in, here are some things to consider first. What do you need social investment for? Are you looking to buy an asset? Maintain cash flow? Kickstart your business? Grow and innovate your organisation? If your answer is yes to any of those, then the next question is does your organisation have an income stream with a surplus or profit? Remember, social investment is not free money. You'll need to pay it back. Some ideas for how you may have this income are government contracts, rental income, membership fees, donations or trading. Also, you need to think about the social impact you'll create. Impact matters, so you need to be really clear about this. What difference will social investment make to your mission and how will you know the impact has happened? The next thing to consider is who are you? At Good Finance, we did user research and identified three key profiles which we'll now tell you about. Ask yourself, do you identify you and your organisation as like one of these profiles? Grassroots, go-getter or business savvy? Grassroots, you're new to this game. You're driven by passion and operate on a small scale. You're passionate about making a change in your community. You're new to the world of social investment. Go-getter. Your social mission will always be your organisation's main driver, but as an organisation, you're learning to appreciate the commercial context that can sit around this. Everything you know about business and finance, you're learning from experience. Business savvy. You're motivated and experienced. You think long-term are considered in your approach. You have knowledge of investment and finance. It's time to think about where you start learning about social investment. Online resources are helpful if you want to go at your own pace. You like digital tools and resources. You want to be in control of how you find information and you're happy to read and research using different media. Offline resources are helpful if you want to know if it's relevant to you. You want to attend an event, you want to ask real people questions and you want to meet, speak to and hear from peers who've done it. Let's start with those of you who are grassroots. You may start your learning with our online animation we showed earlier and attending a Let's Talk Good Finance event local to you would be your offline resource. You can find the events listed on the Good Finance website and our social media pages. Once you've got the basics down, you may want to take advantage of our podcasts, the free online diagnostic tool which can help you decide if social investment could work for you, Now, once you've got all of this down, you know if it's right for you, you're bored or on board, and you've heard from others who've chosen investment, you'll hopefully be highly confident and feeling business savvy. At this point, you should check out our investors and advisors directory and sign up to Good Finance Live. However you decide to progress, we know how quickly things change. So even if you've decided that social investment isn't right for you now, we recommend the following actions. Know your market. Have you researched the market of your activities and do you know the competition? 
You can use our case studies page to search through other organisations using geography or social issue. Also, you could sign up to our free monthly newsletter. For more information about social investment and whether it could help your organisation, visit goodfinance.org.uk.